Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading. This reading is going to be on Big Sean and Janae Eiko and Big Fendi and Nicki Minaj. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So let's start off with Janae Eiko and, and Big Sean. Um, what is the energy around Janae Eiko and Big Sean? What is the energy around Janae Eiko and Big Sean? How do they really feel about each other? Mm, interesting. Okay, so I will say this. Uh, there's definitely trust issues in their relationship. The Ten of Swords, that talks about betrayal. Okay, so I feel like both parties definitely have um, stepped out of this relationship and then, you know, got back together. Um, the Two of Pentacles, that talks about a change or switch. So that means that... In times when they're together, there's a switch that happens in the relationship where, you know, somebody could be withdrawn from the relationship and, you know, have an entanglement, okay? And I feel like it's both parties. It's not just one person, okay? Um, because the moon card is here in reverse and that talks about fear, anxiety, and secrets, okay? Um, as we know, Big Sean has a history of stepping out. Okay, Janae has talked about it in several songs. Um, but, you know, Janae's um, dirt has been, you know, kept in a closet. So I feel like um, secrets could be revealed on both ends. Okay, so the moon card that talks about, you know, anxiety, fear, and secrets. Okay, the ten of pentacles in reverse, that talks about the dark side of wealth. Um, I also feel like Janae kind of benefits from this relationship musically, okay? When she makes a heartbreak song, people are in tune to what she has to say because she's dating Big Sean, okay? Remember Trigger, you know, P Fairy? People are in tune to what she has to say. It does benefit her musically, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that talks about the dark side of wealth, you know, having this attachment because it kind of benefits you, okay? And then the Empress card, that talks about them being attracted to each other, okay? Empress represents, you know, beauty, nurturing. Um, Janae does have a nurturing spirit about her, okay? And then the Three of Swords, this talks about heartbreak. So they're always going to be on and off. Okay, they're going to get back together, break up, get back together. Their relationship is always going to be inconsistent. Okay, so that's just, you know, the energy around them right now. I do feel like they love each other. Um, you know, the nine of cups that represents contentment. They're kind of like, I would say satisfied with each other. Like they don't really want to have a deeper relationship with anybody else. Okay, they always come back to each other, but they do both, I feel like, entertain other people when the relationship is not going the way they want it to go, okay? Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, will Janae Eiko and Big Sean ever get married? Janae Eiko and Big Sean. Will Janae Eiko and Big Sean ever get married? Okay, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of conflict energy around that. The five of wands that talks about conflict. The death card is here that talks about an ending. Um, three of cups that talks about connections. You know, them entertaining other people. And then we also have the hierophant card that talks about challenges. And you know, the king of cups in reverse that talks about being moody emotionally manipulative, okay? And that's definitely on Big Sean's end. I feel like Janae definitely wants to tie the knot, but Big Sean, he's not maturing enough, okay? Um, he's also very concerned about his finances. The Ace of Swords in reverse that talks about a lack of potential, delays, 
He doesn't feel like his career is where it's supposed to be. That also plays in the back of his mind. So that's also the reason why his career, I mean, his relationship um, is not at that next level, okay? Because Janae definitely wants to get married, but there's a lot of com conflict energy around him. Will Janae Aiko and Big Sean have children? Janae Aiko and Big Sean. Will they have children together? Janae Aiko and Big Sean. Will they have any children together? Janae Aiko and Big Sean. I do feel like there is a possibility for them to have um, children together. Um, the Six of Wands, that talks about public recognition. So once, you know, everything goes smoothly with the pregnancy, because I think like Janae is what, 34, 35? Um, you know, after like a few months, I would say four or five months, I feel like she would reveal it. And then the Ten of Pentacles, that talks about success, okay? Um, family, success, the Seven of Cups, that talks about, you know, having an opportunity. I do feel like it's difficult for them to have ch children. Um, I don't know if Janae has any health concerns. Because I, I like Janae, but I don't follow her like that. But I do feel like there has been, um, you know, challenges with them having children. Um, and so the moon card that talks about anxiety and fear again, um, secrets revealed. I do feel like another reason why, um, they're having a tough time going to that next level is because there's been a lot of infidelity in their relationship. The 10 of swords that talks about, um, you know, betrayal, um, deceit. And I also feel like they have a karmic relationship, which means that. If they were dealing with other people before they got serious with each other, that could be like a karmic relationship. I remember Janae Aiko being married and then she got with Big Sean while she was married. I remember that. And I love Janae Aiko, so it's really no shade. But that can give you a karmic type of relationship for your new um, beginning that you have with somebody else because it's almost like you did the last person dirty. So... This is never going to be a peaceful relationship. It's always going to be up and down. That's what a karmic relationship means. It's like if you was with somebody, then you get with a new person. That relationship ain't going to do, it's not going to go far, okay? That's basically what it means. Um, and that's why they have a tough time going to that next level. Basically, Big Sean is Janae's karma. That's why she's not able to really get rid of him. A lot of people think that, um, you know, Janae be doing spells to a certain extent. That is true. But it's almost like he be doing stuff to her too because um, he's basically her karma. Okay. Moving on to Big Fendi and Nicki Minaj. Will Big Fendi be able to help Nicki Minaj? Big Fendi. Will he be able to help Nicki Minaj with her label and management company? Big Fendi, will he be able to help Nicki Minaj with her label and management company? Big Fendi. Mm, interesting. I'll be honest with you. I feel like eventually they will go their separate ways the five of pentacles is here that talks about a financial loss so she actually might take a financial loss with fendi being around you know it's okay for him to pick pick out music and stuff like that but when it comes to making decisions in regards to her business i don't think it's a good idea okay and the queen of swords in reverse that talks about bitterness coldness so she's gonna um get really upset at him Okay, when he drops the ball, there's going to be a lot of delays in um, how she wants to maneuver her business because of him. Okay, the temperance card is here in reverse that talks about an imbalance. Okay, 
um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles that talks about financially working parent. So she's going to be very upset when, you know, she's taking these financial loss. Okay. Because she's going to be like, wow, I have a child, you know, I have a family to take care of. Okay. And then we also have the King of Wands in reverse. And that talks about somebody that could be very impulsive. Okay. When he's making decisions. Okay. And then the King of Swords in reverse, that talks about somebody that is manipulative. Okay. So I feel like she's going to have an issue with him, okay? He's going to be manipulating her into doing certain things that is not going to be the best decision for her businesses, okay? Now, if it's him, you know, choosing what songs need to be on the album, that's fine. But when it comes to making executive decisions, he's going to drop the ball. So there's that. Um, let's see. How does Kenny feel about Big Fendi? Kenneth Petty. How does he feel about Big Fendi? Kenneth Petty. How does he currently feel about Big Fendi? Kenneth Petty. He's not happy with him being around. Okay. Kenneth Petty is not happy. The lover's card is here in reverse. That talks about disharmony. Okay. Then we have the knight of swords in reverse. That talks about, you know, a lack of successfulness. Okay. So he doesn't feel like their relationship, their, bus their business relationship is going to last long. Okay. Okay. Uh, we also have the Four of Wands in reverse that talks about private achievement, okay? So I do feel like he does not want um, Big Fendi around. Let's see. How does Big Fendi feel about Kenneth Petty? Big Fendi. How does he feel about Kenneth Petty? Big Fendi. How does he feel about Kenneth Petty? Ooh, interesting. I feel like he knows some information about Kenneth. The Eight of Pentacles is here in reverse, okay? So that talks about misdirected activity. So he knows some information about Kenneth, and he will be asking him his input about certain things. But I feel like it's more like keep your... and It's like keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer, I feel like that's why he's going to be trying to get close to um, Kenny. He doesn't really trust him either, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is here in reverse. That talks about an overinvestment. Um, he kind of feels like Nikki's wasting her time with this dude, okay? That, you know, she's not really gaining anything from him being around, okay? And then the Seven of Cups in reverse, that talks about an illusion, okay? Wishful thinking, so they don't really care for each other. I do feel like they could possibly have a tower moment or something like that. Um, a tower moment means like an argument, the, them having a disagreement or something. I do feel like that could possibly happen, um, but they don't really care for each other. And it has caused friction in her relationship with Kenny, Fendi being around, okay? So let's see. Does Fendi know any information about Kenny that Nicki Minaj may not know? Big Fendi, does he know any information about Kenneth Petty that Nicki Minaj may not know? I do feel like he knows something. The Three of Swords that talks about heartbreak. And the Justice card that talks about lack of accountability. The Ten of Swords that talks about deceit. And then we also have the Knight of Cups that talks about being impulsive. So he does know something about um, um, Kenneth, okay? It's almost like Fendi don't really want Kenny around. Kenny don't want Fendi around. Um, 
and they gonna have some issues, okay? Um, I would love to watch. No shade. I'm not. I'm not really here for the messiness, you know. But listen, if they want to fight, I would just love to be a fly on the wall. I just want to see who's gonna win. I think Kenny would win, okay? You know, um, Big Fendi has a big gut, but he don't have the fist. I don't think he can beat Kenny, okay? So let me know how you guys feel um, about everything. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and have an amazing day.